hey everyone welcome back to my channel so it's been a really long time since i did a clean with me i got something i'm excited to try so i'm about to clean my very old very needing to be deep clean oven um the white stuff you see at the bottom i put on the self clean element of it and so it's an electric oven so it burns everything inside and it leaves that um and then you see we have some grease staining and stuff like that I do not really keep up with deep cleaning this oven because I want to get a new one, but I'm like, you know, might as well keep it clean for what I have, right? So I have these. I'm super excited to try them. I first seen them on, uh, I first saw them, excuse me, on TikTok. And so I picked it up. So it says pink stuff, miracle cleaning paste, tough on stains, yada, yada, yada. Um... So what I'm gonna do, let's see what the directions say. Do -do -do. Apply using a soft rub gently. Too much. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, apply this on here, the door, and then I can lift the little uh, coil, heating coil up. I'm gonna take the racks out. I'm gonna put this on there, and then I'm gonna let it sit while I clean up the rest of my mess. Yes, I know. Um, and then I'm going to um, come back and show you guys. So I'm going to put it on and then I'm going to show you what it looks like. So I got it open. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to go ahead and put it on. So I'm just going to scoop some like this. Oh, I'm trying to do it one handed while I hold the camera. I probably should have wore gloves, but away. So. I'm gonna go ahead and rub some on in here. Mommy. I'm just gonna scoop some out with my hand. Mommy. Yes. Mommy. Clean the oven. So, just gonna go ahead and scrub it on like that. Um. So again, it's the pink stuff, and then I got this scrub daddy sponge. So I just thought it was cute. So, I'm gonna go ahead and finish putting that all over. All right. So. There it is. I put a layer over the entire thing. Here's the sponge. It is pretty messy. So first things first, I would say wear gloves. But I don't have any. No, I actually do. Oh, well, I didn't put any on. <laughs> so I'm going to let this sit. Excuse me. While I um, clean the rest of the kitchen. And then I'm going to come back and wipe it off. I just did like a generous layer. Um, a little bit does kind of go a long way. I got a little heavy handed with it as I always do with stuff like this, but still a bunch left. It's definitely um, a very thick consistency. So I'm gonna let this sit and then I'll come back and show you when I'm wiping it off. All right, so I actually put it on the outside of the oven too. Um, that part is like obviously glass and then this is like the plastic or whatever. First takeaway, definitely wear gloves. I don't know if you can tell but it was definitely irritating my skin. And I literally only just now had it on there for a couple minutes that I was scrubbing it all over. So definitely wear gloves. much later I got the top done and um I did underneath like I lifted the whole white part as well there's a couple of little tough spots that I'm gonna hit again and I put I left this on way too long don't do that um the floor is a mess because I have to wet it so much to get it off because it's like dried and caked on so definitely don't leave it on as long as I did but so far it definitely seems to be doing the job I cleaned this up here too I didn't get the before, but it did a pretty good job on that. Um, as far as this sponge goes, I would rather next time when I use it, use like a steel wool or one of those um, like SOS pads. I think it would give a better scrub because certain spots inside here. Now, remember, I said this stove is very old. Um, certain spots were I had to take like a butter knife to really scrape at them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and finish cleaning off the inside of here. Last time I did a deep clean video for the stove, I used... The Mrs. Myers, I believe is the name. 
um, degreaser, the natural from those the natural product line, and it worked really well. So once I'm done with this, um, I'll give a comparison to my opinion of which one worked better. But um, yeah, so far so good. Again, just don't leave it on as long as I did because it makes it a hassle to get it off and not leave behind like that white residue. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish scrubbing and I'll be back. Okay, so finally done. Um, like I said, it's a couple spots that I need to hit again. But overall, I am pretty happy with it. Uh, this is the inside, like you see right there. That needs to be hit again. But other than that, it definitely looks really good. It did a good job like on the glass and stuff too. So overall, I'll definitely say it does a good job. Just again, don't leave it on there like I did. Let it dry up. Um, Cause that's what I think took me longer getting it scrubbed down and then I would suggest to use a steel wool or something like that for the scrubbing so I'm gonna do that part but I'm out of gas for tonight so I'll finish that um those little spots give them a retouch tomorrow and yeah that's it and I did also say I wanted to do a comparison to the um Mrs. Myers this I liked the way this one did it's not far behind the Mrs. Myers one, but the um, the degreaser, it comes in the gray bottle. Um, I like that one better than this one, very slightly. Like, I only had to do one coat, let it soak, and then everything came off. Um, whereas in here, you can see there's some spots that, like I said, need more attention. So, if I had to rate them, it would be the Mrs. Myers one first, and this one definitely close behind. I would definitely use it for other things. I will um, drop an eye up at the top of the screen. So you can check out the other video um, just to see a comparison for yourself. But, okay, I'm out of here, guys. Thanks for watching.